I'm having second thoughts. Oh no. What have I done? The sewing that is there is not good. Today I am going to attempt something that is almost definitely beyond my own skill set. I'm no stranger to fixing and altering clothes, especially things I buy from charity shops. We love a good thrift clip here. But I always try to keep it on the simple side because my sewing skills are only so-so, pun intended. So we're gonna see how this project goes. <laughs> on the few occasions where I have tried an alteration that was a little bit more complex, they either never got finished or I ruined the garment entirely. I have a boiler suit that I bought from a charity shop, honestly must be about five years ago now, and I've never worn it. I bought it because I really liked it and it fit me really well when I tried it on, but I'm not really like a full on boiler suit kind of gal. I much prefer a jumpsuit kind of vibe or dungarees, something that I can put over a cute top. And the other reason I never wore it is because there are some stains. Just a couple little blobs of what I think must have been bleach on the butt area. So the plan today is chop off the sleeves, chop off the collar and try and make that something nice and cover up the stains with ideally a pocket cut from one of the sleeves or if it's too low to be like a good place for a butt pocket, then some sort of stylistic patch. So that's the plan and we'll see how it goes. This is the boiler suit in question. It's cute, it's nice, it fits me well. You get the picture, this is it. I would probably roll the sleeves up myself but obviously the plan is to take the sleeves off so that would be irrelevant. But you get it, it's cute. And now that I'm looking at it I do kind of I think it's actually really lovely and maybe I should just wear it like this <sighs> which kind of defeats the entire purpose of this video it's pretty stinking cute oh no I'm having second thoughts oh no I think I am still going to alter it because as much as it's really nice like this I do think I would wear it more if it was like a jumpsuit style. And I'm trying to remember the fact that I bought this five years ago and I have not worn it once. It still has the label on it. It still has the charity shop label on it. Okay, right, we're gonna alter it. Yes, I think we're gonna commit, I think. Maybe, uh, I think, yes, okay. Either way, we do have to do something about this. Just get a nice shot of my big bum here. And I was correct in thinking that the stain is kind of too low for a bum pocket, like that would look weird I think if I had a butt pocket here. So it's either going to be a patch or I'm going to embroider maybe flowers or something else. But first we're going to do the major alteration which is the sleeves and the collar. And I'm quite nervous for it if I'm being honest. Because once I commit to cutting it, that's it, you know? Ah! We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's time to cut and I'm scared. I lack self-confidence in general, so I don't know why I have the confidence to think that I can do this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna go for, I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. That's the first cut. Okay, right, well we have to commit now. No choice. These sleeves are going. Woo that is a gone sleeve. <laughs> Officially done. Now it's time to commit to chopping off the collar, which I actually think is scarier because it's a more difficult alteration. But I guess let's go. I've chopped sleeves off now, so I might as well commit to the entire thing. <laughs> uh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Ah! This whole section of the video is just gonna be me screaming. Ah! Woo! What have I done? That's a collar, baby. And a spare button, which is always good. <sighs> okay, I feel like I'm already starting to see what I was envisioning for this project, which 
bodes well, I think. We'll see if I can actually pull it off. I think for now, I'm gonna stick with this height of the neck and stick with these and just tidy them up and see then how it's looking. So far, feeling pretty good. There's still time. There's still time for things to go wrong. <laughs> I got there eventually. I had to redo several bits of the sewing and let's be honest, the sewing that is there is not good. The lines aren't straight. Don't look at the inside because I didn't leave enough for a proper seam allowance. And the only white thread I have is thinner than the thread that they used. So it looks different to the rest of the thread on the entire thing. But I tried. <laughs> also doing these bits was really awkward and tedious. So it doesn't look great here. It bunches in a kind of weird way because of the way I didn't sew it very well. But it's fine. I might go in at a later date and tidy it all up if I can be bothered. But let's be honest, probably not gonna happen. I feel like from far away though, it's fine. Just don't get really close up. Just don't get close up. Don't look at it close up is, is, is what I'm asking. So this is fine. It's not good, but it's fine. Now this is the part where I really am not sure what the best course of action is. It's one of those weird ones where anything I kind of put there just looks a bit strange. I used this part of the collar, sewed it on as a patch and then had it kind of coming round on the front side like that. Would that be weird? Probably. You know what that's making me think of? Is those like cargo trousers that have extra bits on them, like strips of extra fabric that kind of go round. Maybe something like that might work. Okay, I'm gonna cut some bits out and pin them on and see how I feel and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is where we're at. I have attached these bits, these are cuffs from the sleeves. This is the one that's covering the stain, which is why it is right below my bum. Ideally, I wouldn't have it right below my bum, but unfortunately, it's a must. I tried a few different placements. I think this is the best. We've gone with an asymmetrical situation. Because these were the cuffs, they have buttonholes in them. So I have placed them with the buttonholes sitting on the front of the suit, meaning that I can put these little buttons here and here, which I think will look kind of cute and keep it cohesive with the button situation at the top. It also means that they will be detachable so I can flap them off if I really want to. <laughs> I don't think they look weird. I don't think they look that weird anyway. to do it and it's not half bad. It is very, very, very far from perfect. I'm not sure I would even say it's particularly well done, but it's done. Could I have taken more time and effort to make it really, really clean? Yes, probably, but for doing it in a day with my limited capabilities, making it a piece of clothing that I'm much more likely to grab, and of course solving the issue of the bum stain, which makes it sound really, really bad. Just reiterating that I bought this from a charity shop and it already had the stain. So I don't know if that makes it better or worse. At least if I was the one who made the stain, I would know exactly what the stain was from. Anyway, I'm overall pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm not very happy with the stitching I did around the neck, but generally I'm okay with it as long as no one looks super close up at it. I do actually think I will wear it out and about. Finally, five years after buying it. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.